everybody, this is Clover, and I'm back again playing some Final Fantasy IV. Uh, we just watched our dear friend Sid die, uh, and it's very sad. So uh, we're going to follow his advice, and uh, we're going to go to Baron, and uh, we're going to talk to his engineers, and maybe they can give us a hand with the airship. Uh, so yes, on the last episode, both, uh, we watched both, um, Yang and Sid sacrifice themselves for us, and, uh, this thankless party here just kept going on. Uh, just kidding, of course. Uh, well, so I was gonna go, uh, I was gonna go rest in, uh, at the inn, but, uh, you know what? I might as well, uh, rest in a place that's free, which is my bed in Baron. Uh, so I'm going to quickly head up there. And uh, then we will uh, continue on with our uh, mission to talk to Sid's engineers. I love the music. I, I'm going to make a compilation of every time I say I love the music. It would be every game, every, every episode I release on this, uh, on this series. All right. We are in bed and resting, and we are fully restored. Awesome. Okay, and let's head out to uh, Sid's Engineers. Yes, let's go, Cecil. I agree. All right, so uh, continuing on, uh, this next section of the, uh, of the game is uh, pretty interesting because we have to try and figure out how to get back to the underground, and we have to do a couple of things to, uh, to be able to do that. So, uh, first things first, we're gonna talk to Sid's engineers, and they're gonna equip our airship with a little something special, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, so let's go do that. Okay. The, if you didn't know, these are Sid's engineers, I don't know if I mentioned that before. Boss ordered us to attach this hook to the Enterprise. No, it won't take long. I don't know what that person's voice is. Okay, so they're attaching a hook to the Enterprise. Oh, and we get a cute little little scene. I like the sounds here. Marcos. <laughs> Those are supposed to be hammers, I guess. <laughs> My, <laughs> I also like this part where. Oh wait, hold on. We'll see you in a second. <laughs> Oh wait, maybe I'm maybe I'm confusing the two, but uh, there's a similar scene to this later. I think. Sorry if it's a spoiler. Now you can carry the hook, and now you can hook and carry the hovercraft. To hook or let go of the hovercraft, press A over the craft. Now you can go to the cave of Eblon by the Tower of Babel. Thank you for telling me where I should go. Bring the hovercraft to the shore and detach it to get there. Then use it to get to the cave. That's very nice. Hey, why? Uh, Sid is. Oh, I can tell you are having terrible, uh, ter having trouble handling him. But uh, I won't blame you. Uh, well, good luck. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a cute scene in the uh, cute cutscene in the in the DS remake where they do the same thing. But in the meantime, uh, so before we go do exactly what they told us to do. It's interesting that two two guys who should generally have no clue about any of this stuff are telling you, oh, the next place you have to go is the Cave of Eblon. But uh, anyway, so uh, we came over here a little while ago, back when we uh, liberated Baron. Uh, and now uh, that we have somebody in our party, we can uh, have a special little uh, interaction. Uh... And I hope this is in this version and not just the DS version. I remember it being in this, so I might be wrong, but let's see. Okay, so continuing down this corridor, we didn't go here before, but what's this? It's a throne room. Huh. Cecil. Your Majesty? Can't you tell? Because my voice is different. Go to the land of summoned monsters, and return here. I shall be of help. Well, that was abrupt, but okay. So that is what we will do. Uh, before we get too far along on this, though, I want to... 
There are some chests I missed. I don't, eh, I don't think uh, they're super important to get now. So anyway, uh, we'll just keep going on. But uh, next stop is going to be the hovercraft that we can now pick up with our newly updated Enterprise. Sorry for the noise outside. Um, and uh, with the uh, newly updated Enterprise, we can hook our hovercraft and uh, carry it around with us as we fly, which is super cool. So that means we can bring it from outside uh, Damkin or wherever it is right now and bring it somewhere else. Uh, well, bring it to Eblon, which is where we were before. So uh, let's go get our hovercraft. So I believe this is the point in the game where uh, where uh, you would generally fight the monsters we fought uh, at uh, in Castle Eblon. But uh, we took care of that already. Uh, so yeah, uh, that helped us a lot. Uh, I don't think uh, I don't think the slumber sword would be super useful now. So maybe it is intended to do after you. Uh, after you get Kane back, but I don't know. All right, so here we have brought our hovercraft over to uh, Eblon, and uh, let's cross these shallows and go to the Cave of Eblon. All right, I'm gonna save, and then we can get going inside. All right, so, uh, ooh, Shuriken. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it. It's like Shuriken or something. But, um, sorry. Sorry I mispronounced things. Um, so, uh, probably not a great idea to distribute damage, but I'm gonna do that anyway. Uh, oh, no, that was fine. Okay, cool. So, uh, both Ken, Kane and Cecil will, uh, take care of those guys. This, um, uh, level can be a little bit annoying with, uh, with the encounter rate, um, so hopefully we're not just taking single steps and then getting into new fights, but, um, uh, the, the one thing that I, that I, uh, that I do remember is that there are bats in this cave and the bats can, the, the new upgraded bat enemy can be, can be a bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, so hopefully, uh, Hopefully, uh, this goes more smoothly than I remember. Granted, this, uh, this version of the game is pretty simple. So, yay, ready to gain a level, finally. Uh, so, um, because this uh, version of the game is easy, uh, it's not terribly difficult ever, so. All right, we got 1,200 GP. That will be important. Okay. Ooh, Scully. Skullamans! I can't remember if these skeletons are weak to fire, but I think they are. So I'm gonna have Rydia uh, cast fire too. You remember back in the day when Rydia was all scared of fire and stuff? Okay. Uh, Cecil attacks, and come on. Come on. Come on, Rydia. Nice, fire two, and goodbye. Wow, that was really powerful. <laughs> I am kind of excited for when Rydia starts gain gaining her uh, her uh, more powerful magics, uh, because she really becomes a powerhouse. Rydia is like, you know, I'm sure everybody has differing opinions, but Rydia is one of the most powerful, uh, one of the most powerful, uh, I, I would say probably the most powerful, um, character in the game, uh, especially with, uh, especially with Nuke and eventually Medio. Uh, I don't know if we'll get Medio in this. I might, I might, uh, you know, I might beat it before she gets to that level, but, uh, yes, she does learn Medio eventually, and, uh, she learns a, an endgame magic called Nuke, which is, like, super powerful. But, uh, yeah, even with the summons, like, Bahamut and all that, which will be coming. Ah, I thought you were monsters! I think all of my, my NPCs are gonna have generic, uh, generic New York accents. Okay, let's, uh, rest and heal up. Good night. Good night, Cecil, you're so proper. Okay, I think we're in pretty good shape in terms of, like, healing items and all that stuff, so I don't think we have to get anything. But, uh, hopefully, uh, their armor shop has... So, the, uh, uh, I don't know if this was explained well, but, uh, this, uh, 
this place is uh, is where all of the uh, people from Eblon went when their uh, town was attacked. Uh, so they're all here now. Uh, and maybe if we talk to more people. We're the people of Eblon. Uh, we lost our place to live. This is our new home. Okay, very descriptive. Um, okay, weapons and armor. Awesome. Bye. Ice. Okay, cool. So we can get an ice, uh, ice shield and armor for edge. Uh, for edge. Ugh, I'm telegraphing what's happening. For, uh, we can get ice shield and armor for Kane. So let's do that. And then we can get a black robe for Radia. Cool. All right, let's equip that. Uh, and check out our fancy new duds. Okay. Uh, black, yep. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Not not crazy, but I'm, I'm just startled. I still haven't gotten a, a, a helmet since silver. I'm, I'm definitely missing something, so apologies about that. Uh, I just, yeah, I don't know where they are. Um, but, yeah, so... Uh, we are geared up for them. Uh, let's sell what we don't need anymore. Unfortunately, we don't need poison. Uh, though, uh, a, 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 com a character that's coming soon can can equip that, so. But, uh, we're not going to. Uh, bandana, no, keep that, because they need that. We're going to sell the great bow. We'll sell your fire uh, shield. Um, yeah, let's sell that. Hmm... And then I don't know what's dartable. Yes, hint, hint. We're gonna be uh, we're gonna be having a character soon who can throw swords, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we'll hold on to that. Now let's check out the uh, weapons weaponsman. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna give that. Uh, I think he's equipped with Blizzard. Yeah, he's equipped with Blizzard. We're okay there. Uh, so uh, short is gonna be for Edge. Uh, so we have a character that we're going to be meeting coming up. There, there's nothing new here. Uh, we can, you know, nothing, nothing crazy here. So we're actually in a good shape in terms of armor and weapons. So uh, let us continue on into uh, the cave of Eblon. Well, actually, let's uh, let's talk to some of the people in in this room over here first. So up that way is the cave of Eblon. But uh, first, we're going to talk to the townspeople. We hid here. Food is running short. Oh, sorry. All right. Found a cure one. This is why we actually really came here. But, um, yes. So this is where the people of uh, Evalon have hidden. Our prince can do it. Honey, hold on. Would you like to change your name? No. <laughs> it's a very odd place for you to be naming, right? Oh, sweetie. This may be the end of the ninjas of Eblon. Oh, don't be sure about that. I'm gonna protect my mom. She is pregnant. Aww. To rescue the king and queen, the prince is digging a hole into the Tower of Babel. He brought a shovel and everything, but I haven't seen him lately. The king and queen were taken when the prince was gone. Where was the prince? Where were you, prince? The prince will beat up those bad guys, right? Yes. Yes, he will. Sure. All right. So those are the uh, those are all the remaining survivors of Eblon. But uh, here we go, uh, heading into the cave of Eblon, and hopefully we will be able to uh, make some good progress. All right. Okay. So I believe the uh, the armadillo is the more difficult uh, um, ironback. Uh, enemy, uh, but let's see what we can do. Uh, yeah, why don't you do some ice too, Radio? Oh, well, okay. I guess it wasn't really useful, but it's fine. Um, I wonder, I've never played the Japanese version of this game, and I wonder how drastically different it would uh, be in terms of difficulty. Uh, maybe that is something I'll, I'll try out someday, but um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, uh, the 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 Japanese version is supposed to be harder, I believe. The prince went alone. Aw. These guys are all like defensive of uh, of the prince. Surprised. Huh. All right. Uh, we're gonna 
just toast them all. I think that's a good idea. All right. Uh, so let's uh, attack. Come on. Thank you. Jeez. Uh, I'm going to heal just for sa the sake of healing. Huh. Cure 3 is probably overkill, but who cares? We've got infinite MP. MP is never going to be an issue. Ouch. All right. Um, I haven't done a lot of the uh, a lot of Rydia summons, but uh, she does have some interesting ones. Jin is a uh, is Ifrit, basically Ifrit um, from other games. I don't know why he was called Jin in this one. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's called Ifrit in Final Fantasy VI also, uh, and I can't remember if he is in Final Fantasy V. Uh, I, have, I haven't played Final Fantasy V all that much. I, I beat it once, and then that was about it. Or, I can't remember if I beat it. I might have gotten up to X death and then stopped. But, um, yeah, uh, um, for whatever reason, the the Ifrit summon in this one is called, uh, is called Jin. Uh, so Shiva, we can do. So Mist is an interesting, uh, is an interesting summon because, uh, it's the first, I believe, and don't quote me on this. I believe it is a holy summon, so it has holy magic. I'd like to, I'd like to, maybe if we get to some undead creatures again, I'll, I'll check, I'll check and see if, uh, if Mist does, does what, what I want. Okay, Shiva. I always love the sound when it was good. Nice. Good job, Rydia. So yeah, uh, Rydia, Rydia all has you know trouble gaining uh, gaining HP and uh, and MP, which is uh, which is annoying. But uh, you know, whatever. Uh oh. All right, so this is the that egg creature I told you about, and it hatches into a Lamia. Eesh. Hopefully, Lamia doesn't mess us up too much. Okay, uh, let's, let's just, let's do this. I hate Lamia. They're, like, sticky and stuff. Ugh. I love that he does, like, significantly more damage to, um, seriously. I love that he, do, that Lamia does significant, or sorry, Cecil does significantly more damage to himself than he does to enemies. That makes sense. Uh, and a charm, a charm harp. Well, I can tell you folks, we're not gonna get, uh, we're not gonna get our buddy, uh, um, Edward back on our team, so. Looks like I'll have something to sell. Alright, okay. Everybody's all healed up. Alright, I'm probably going a place I don't have to go, yes. So, this is one of those situations where, uh, where, uh, the, the cave can be a little, uh, labyrinthian. Uh, but whatevs. I'm gonna make it through. Okay, so uh, the important thing to to remember about uh, about uh, darting, or at least uh, throwing the the dart uh, the dart technique, is that uh, it doesn't work with all blades, all swords. So I am gonna have to do a little bit of a. Uh, a little bit of a uh, inventory purge once uh, we get the next character, but it's a—he's uh, a cool character to have, so I'm looking forward to it. Okay, we won, we won, we won, we won. Okay, the prince is going after Rubicant. It's Rubiconte. Okay, and elixir, and elixir. I'm just being very generous with the elixir, you know. Okay, uh, let's see what you can do, Rosa. You know what? Let's have Rydia do. Oof, cursed status. I have no clue what curse does, but it definitely lowers uh, attack and defense. Uh, let's have them distribute the damage a little bit, and then um, uh, we'll have Rydia do a fire across all of them. I love Rydia loves using uh, using fire now. Nice, cool. All right. 
Now I believe curse sticks on you, right? No, it doesn't. Okay, so it vanishes after uh, battle. Uh, but here we are getting attacked by 513 bats. Um, I'm going to run away because the back attack. Uh, in all honesty, it's also the uh, the the six bats to, to fight. Eh, that's not... It's, it's not terrible, but it's just, it's tedious. It's great to, to have the XP of, uh, of, from, from larger enemy battles, but it's just, it takes so long, especially when it's, especially when it's, um, you know, these, these, uh, smaller enemies. Cure 2, uh, Cabin, and a Cure 2. A Cure a 2. Prince easily loses his temper. It's a great explanation. Um, they're telling a lot of personal information about the prince. I'd be a little, uh, a little less uh, sharing with uh, with that info. Okay. Um, Cecil will attack, and then Rydia, let's do your fire two again. Rydia is currently at 133 MP, which um, we'll get to a save point. I'm pretty sure before uh, she runs out. So. We should be okay. Okay, Rydia heal Rydia. Rosa heals us up. And then fire two from Rydia. Nice. And then Cecil to, to close us out. Goodbye. Very, very nice. Okay. Uh, so I... My plan is to get to the end of this cave before I call it, so I'm going to try and uh, move. Eh, there, there's not much left to do, but uh, I'm going to try and move through this as quickly as I can. Uh, so larger fights I might uh, I might kind of run from because, you know, no point, in, no point in really doing this, especially when it's just me dealing damage onto them and then them you know, hitting me again. It's very, very tedious. Okay. Uh, eh. eh, we're okay, giant bats. We'll see you later. You can drop GP when you, uh, when you, and here's our save point. You can drop GP when you, um, when you, uh, when you run, but it's never that much. It, it can be pretty devastating it early in the game. So here is a secret chest and monsters. Okay. So uh, here we go. Staleman. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and uh, and put as much damage on them as we can. Ugh, I forgot about that. Yeah, so they, they put you asleep uh, or they have the opportunity to put you asleep when you hit them. Uh, I think... Titan should well, Titan's probably gonna be the same situation as it was, as it was with the uh, with the other ones. But um, I fell asleep. That's great. Why don't you just put my entire party to sleep? Why don't we do that? Uh, let's wake up, Kane. Ugh. Titan, please don't do one damage. Okay, good. Well, how did that not kill it? Yes, very useful, Rosa. Thank you. Can you wake up? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do Titan again. Let's see how you like that. I gotta I'm I gotta I got I'm gonna punch you. We'll see how well, I'm gonna punch you with my healer. How do you like that? I'd have been very happy if Rosa killed him with that. Come on, thank you. Jeez. Alright, so Staleman is gone. Uh, and we get a very special gift. A drain sword. That's right. So now I can have uh, Cecil have the same effect as we had with Cain on his uh, on his drain uh, lance. And it's a 58 attack uh, weapon. So not worth it, I say. Uh, especially with like the the heal that it gives you isn't isn't worth the uh, isn't worth the um, the drop in defense like I don't want to heal like 200 damage and only do 200 damage okay uh, so we are cabined and let's save up okay 
And then here we go, heading on to meet a new friend and a new enemy. I'm gonna run away from you. I was surprised by an egg that can't do anything. Okay, come on. Thank you. Dropped 302 GP. It will be missed. Okay, and here we go. Hey, Rubicant! I was waiting for this day! Have I met you before? I am Eblon's Prince Edge! Eblon? What's that? Don't play the fool with me! Alright, Sonic number two. Edge. Alright, so this is, uh, um, well, I don't want to spoil the, uh, the end of the, uh, the game too much, but uh, flame, really? Why, why would you use flame against a, a clearly <laughs> fire enemy? I will show you how. Uh-oh. That's not flame, that's glare. Okay. So, Edge got his butt kicked. Blast you! Indeed, you're strong, but still no match for me. Challenge me after you've become strong enough. What? Uh, what? Wait! Bleh. You okay? How could I lose? We're also going after Rubicon for his crystal. Why don't you stay out of this? He is one of the fiends of elements. Haven't you tested enough of his power? Think I'm just a spoiled prince, huh? The royal family of Eblon is trained as ninja. I can take care of this myself, okay? Stop it! No more! I've had enough! Tella, Young, and even Sid, we lost them all! All! Hey, come on! Rydia. <laughs> That's right, uh, they're losing friends like it's uh, going out of fashion. Rubicant is the strongest of the four fiends. But we still have to recover the crystals. Can't keep this pretty girl crying. Why don't we work together on this? Considering the fact that he's wounded, he sure bluffs. Well, Rosa. Cure two. <laughs> That's all he needs. That's all he needs for a full heal. <laughs> Thanks, girl! You're cute, too! I'm sorry he's very similar to Young, but oh well. Right, men! Let's go! Give me a break. Ninja Edge joined. Very, very nice. Alright. Edge is one of my favorite characters. He's, uh, he can, he doesn't take a lot of damage, uh, which is unfortunate. But, uh, oh, look, he already has a bandana and a black belt. I'm gonna give him, uh, rune? Because I think that's probably better, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, the physical damage. Uh, the rune, the, the fact that rune protects from more, uh, from more magic damage is worth it to me. But, uh, he, uh, Edge is kind of, uh, he's not super strong. But he uh, does ha he's fast, and he uh, l later in the game as we go on he'll get he'll get stronger. But um, uh, yeah, this is uh, our newest character, Edge. And uh, I hate to spoil things, but you're looking at the uh, at the final party for our game. Uh, so uh, we are gonna finish off these guys very slowly. Sorry. Okay. And. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Uh, and one more, and then I'll get this chest, and then we will call it uh, before we head into uh, a little Tower of Babel spot. They already told you that they're digging into the Tower of Babel, so it's okay. But uh, I'm very impressed if Edge was able to 
uh, to shovel out all of this area. Okay, and what's in here? An ether two. Hmm, great. Okay, well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, I uh, please, uh, if you can, uh, give me a subscribe. Uh, it is super helpful in terms of YouTube. And if you want to speak with me, then you can uh, post a comment below, or you can uh, catch me on Twitter at gamingwick. W I K Clover. Uh, so on the uh, next episode, we will head into the Tower of Babel, and you will get to see the overground area of the Tower of Babel. Hint: it looks very similar to the underground. But we're gonna head through, and we're gonna see if we can catch up with Rubicon. All right, thanks guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.